The mean absolute deviation of a data set describes the spread of that data. It calculates the average distance that the data is from the mean. So today I'm going to show you how to find the mean absolute deviation between two different data sets in order to compare the two sets. The first set that we're going to look at is the top five NFL offensive yards per game for the 2015 season. Now these are by team. So you can tell that I have numbers from 408.3 to 375.9 and we want to get a glimpse into how spread out this data is. Now the process I'm going to show you is not the only process to find mean absolute deviation but it is one. The key to getting a mean absolute deviation correct is keeping your data organized. So the first thing I'm going to do is start with a column and I'm going to label it data. And I'm going to fill it in with all of my data points. 408.3 403.8, 395.4, 378.6, and 375.9. Once we have our first column, we're going to create a second column called mean. We're going to fill it in all the way down with the mean of our first column. I've already done the calculations ahead of time, and it's 392.4. The third column we're going to label as difference for the deviation. To calculate this column, we're going to find the difference between the data and the mean. That's why I wrote a subtraction sign right there, because data minus mean is equal to difference. All right, so 408 minus 3, sorry, 408.3 minus 392.4 is 15.9. 403.8 is 11.4, 3, negative 13.8, and negative 16.5. The reason that some of them are negative and some of them are positive, the positive numbers are above the mean and the negative numbers are below the mean. Now, in the name mean absolute deviation, we have our deviation column. Now we need to find the absolute deviation. That's our next column, absolute value. If you recall, absolute value is how far a number is from the point zero. So our positives remain positive, but then our negatives turn positive. So we have our deviation column. We have our absolute deviation column. We need to find the mean of that. So we'll add all these up to get the sum is 60.6. Then divide by the total number of data points, which is 5, to get that our mean absolute deviation is 12.12 for the top 5 NFL offensive yards per game by team in 2015. This data doesn't tell us much by itself, but in a second, we'll do this for the bottom 5 NFL teams and compare. So, here are the numbers for the bottom 5. First step is to do our data column. Our next column is to find the mean. Our next step is to find the mean and create a column with it, which is 311.16. Now our third column, if you recall, is the difference or deviation. which we're going to subtract the data from the mean to get that. We get 10.24, 10.04, 0.64, negative 7.36, negative 13.56. Our last column was absolute value. Positive stay positive, negative turn positive.
We need the mean of our absolute deviation, so we add this up to get a sum of 41.84. We divide by 5 to get a mean absolute deviation of 8.368. All right, it's not all the way on the screen, is it? There we go. So if we compare our two mean absolute deviations, for the top five teams, it was 12.12, and our bottom five teams, it was 8.368 which means that this data is more condensed around the mean, whereas this value is more spread out. That is how to find mean absolute deviation by hand.